Smoke break. 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 Yo, welcome to the first episode of Smoke Break. I'm here with my good homie Slater Black. Yo, yo, yo. And the homie Lord Raw in the back. Yo. You know? West Phoenix repping it. I'm saying. <laughs> so let's spark this shit up real quick. Hold on, hold on. And let's start getting this shit smoky as fuck, my nigga. I'm saying. First question that I have for y'all <coughs> is <coughs> what influenced you guys to start rapping? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, for me, it was more uh, like, I guess, life shit. You know what I'm saying? Just pure life, like pure life, like that ass. Because I've always been able to rap since I was like four, so the shit was a given. So. It just came with it. It's like second nature, really. What about you, Ra? Uh, motivation wise, shit, like to get into it. Um, shit, that was more, that's like two different type of journeys. Like getting into it, I can't really tell you because the shit is like, same for myself. Been, yeah. yeah, it's just always been like a constant, like in our life. Shit. Like, we just always did it. Like, yeah. like subconsciously, just always, just like, always just did it. Always, just always making music. I can tell you a story right now, like, uh, me and this dude, like, if, like, if the people don't know, we grew up together, bro, we're cousins and shit, so, right. like, we, uh, I would go over to this dude's house after, like, a whole week of just writing verses in detention, writing verses at school, writing verses at home, and we would just, like, come spit, like, we didn't even really know what the fuck we were doing, we didn't know, we like, we wanted to rap, or, like, be rappers, like, we were just rapping, just doing it for fun. Who influenced you guys to start rapping? Uh, Trap Called Quest. Trap called Quest. Yeah, them niggas made me want to like actually do that shit mm. because I saw a documentary called uh, Beats, Rhymes, and Life and shit. And nigga, I was sitting, I was like 13, sitting at the edge of my bed watching that shit. And like, yeah, I remind you, these is like 40 year old dudes who are right. going on their last tour. This they filmed in like 20, like 2008, 2008. Right. They was going on their last tour. And just to see how they came up and how charismatic and carefree and they didn't give a fuck and everybody looked at them as weirdos. And, uh, like, I related to that. And then it became a thing. It became, like, hella popular. And, like... I don't know. I don't know. Like it just, it's just something about like them niggas just, just really they having how they fun. Did they, how they moved. Yeah, everything. it was like, bro, y'all niggas is really having fun, and y'all, like three times my age. I'm like, this is the shit. Like, bro, I love hip hop. Like, <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is bro. tight. Shout out hip hop, man. Shout out rapping. How about you, bro? Who influenced you to start rapping? Shit. Uh, this kind of the same story as like shit getting into it. It's like uh, I can chuck that up to many people, but. Um, Definitely, I feel like, I feel like this man right here, Slater, bro, he definitely motivated me a lot when it came to, like, you know, pursuing it. So, I can say, like, definitely Slater, bro, because he had a hand in it, for sure. Y'all basically grew up together, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, growing up as cousins, family, obviously. Yeah. Like, brothers, really. You know what I'm saying? So, like, LGDA, like, he's one of the original, like, he's the one of the, one of the original. original. LGDA, live great, that awesome members and shit. So, how did you come up with the name LGDA? It was an epiphany. I wrote it in the notebook in like eighth grade, like eighth grade class. Presented it to my niggas. They was fucking with it. I was like, all right, cool. We gonna run it. Like, we gonna we gonna make something out of this. You know what I'm saying? So, and I always had the mindset of I don't know what. Like, it doesn't matter what I do. If I end up doing it, I'm gonna be great at it. Like, regardless. Like, it don't matter what the fuck I do. Like, if I ended up being a bum, like, nigga, I'm about to be the best bum. Nigga, the best like, you're not, right? you're not out bumming me, bro. Like, you're just not gonna do it. But, that's just my mindset. I'm not really a competitive nigga, 
I'm just more of I like my personal wins. Like I want to see myself do better. Like, see like I'm too busy trying to kick my own ass. Like exactly, nothing wrong with that. Like I don't really care about what the outside world talking about. Though right. you must be aware and pay attention. But I'm more of trying to just you know stay in your lane, do your thing. Yeah, day. I'm trying to whoop my own ass every time. Like you gotta do what you gotta do to get better. Exactly. What about uh? You guys got something going on for oh, this yeah. month? Called yeah. Live Great Fridays. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just dropped uh, some new shit. Movie the Great. Yeah, well, the first the first week was a quarterly, uh, with myself featuring Movie the Great, who's also an LGBA member. Um, and then also the the following week was a, a solo Movie the Great song called Back to Myself. Just dropped. You can go stream that on LGBA Radio SoundCloud. Go get um, that right now. Get accordingly. Everywhere. And then the last week would be from Floor Raw. Yes, people in the Floor Raw, bro. It's crazy. Now, finally, huh? The last right, project. Last project you dropped was a uh, what? 2017. Yeah, yeah. Stay yeah, happy. Man. <laughs> bro, a lot of life happened. Yeah, man. Yeah, you gonna hear it too. It's night, bro. I'm loving this fucking music I made. I'm excited. What are you? Are you most excited about uh, the project or <clears throat> a couple songs? It's really the whole project, cause like, just cause like I had so much time to actually like put work in and like actually like perfect my shit, figure out what I want to say, get it how you wanted to get it. Exactly, that shit is exactly how I want it. Oh uh, yeah. Now what? How I end up starting uh that one hashtag uh, album mode? Oh album mode. That <laughs> shit was literally birthed out of like, I guess like a panic attack mixed with boredom, mixed with like nigga come on, mixed with like. This is waiting on music Like it was like uh, That was like uh, Like how like Slater was just talking about Like kicking your own ass Type shit That was like my version Of doing that Cause I was just not Working on Anything Pretty mm-hmm. much Like <clears throat> So like Just a album, couple features yeah, here and there. yeah Yeah Little features here and there So I was just like not I was just not motivated And I was like Fuck it It's I'm gonna just scare myself Into start working So it's like Fuck it I announced the project I gotta start doing something mm-hmm. I can't just not Drop a project But you, can't, you gotta stay true to your word. Exactly. You gotta stay true to your word. What do you guys think has the the best style in Arizona? Uh, Live bro, great. If I'm being honest, and that's not even like on the dickhead shit. Like, like, bro, like, like niggas is fitted. Like, I'm not gonna lie. But if we talking about like consistent, uh, consistency. Great. Why would y'all say it's y'all niggas? Like we, we dress like this. Exactly. That's that was you know the what I'm saying. Yeah, like look, I was going, I was going. Who look like us? Answer. Who sound like us? <coughs> Couldn't tell you. But um, where do you guys get your style from? <coughs> everywhere. Like what bro. inspired it? Everywhere. Dude. Everywhere. Dude. Everywhere. Like, I really just absorb my environment, like for real, for real. Like everywhere I'm at, I look at something. People. It's just old people, white shit. people, white people, all type of people, different genders, man and female. Yeah, like, yeah, the way people, the way certain people rock shit is crazy. Like, obviously for me, like I took like on the more elderly route. Obviously, a little Tyler influence there. The way I dress, it's like, but it's just the way I blend. It's like, but I still got the Cortez in it. It's still the, you know, still the cuff beanie with, like, you know, like might wear a turtleneck or something crazy. Like you never know when Lip Grain gonna pull up in. Like it's always like it's always just something different. Always. always a little bit of like something different. Why? Why do you say you guys get your inspiration from old people? Like what is so in? Because we how, grew how up around old like, what's people. Cool we grew up with old people. Like like, like literally like, like we were basically people. co-parented by our grandmother. So it was just like. And being from Phoenix, so Arizona, basically them dressing you and you keeping yeah, the fit. Yeah. For I used to dress like a Southern gentleman style until like, nigga, but like getting out of middle school, bro. Like my mom just yeah. Fucking dressing my me. my shit was more <laughs> of like modern, but like a little bit mature right. in a way. It was like it was cool, but it's like a little like okay, cool. He like he got an early swag to him. Like, he kind of aware of his swag a little bit. Like, because I, even as a kid, <clears throat> even as a kid, I didn't really match a lot. Right. 
but I always seem to make the fit work and it looks nice so where like the colors don't look like they're clashing they look like they just sit well with each other you know what I'm saying like yeah. that type of shit that's the type of shit so I kind of like some Picasso type shit or something <laughs> <laughs> something like that like you know what I mean <laughs> any locals that you guys would want to collab with man anything Phoenix is on go for me to be honest like, for sure honest. like I fuck with Black Mama. I fuck with uh, Deuce Boy. That nigga's cool. Uh, uh, who else? I'm trying to think of that nigga's name, bro. That nigga was supposed to send. He was gonna produce us too. I don't know why I can't think of bro name. But I fuck with bro. Catmint's? Catmint's Q is fire too. Catmint's Q is fire. Q, I need, I need the pack, bro. Oh, Splash, yeah, bro. Splash Dude, Fuego. Need the pack. Definitely need the pack. Jeez. Yo, Splash Fuego and them. Like, I fucks with them, bro. Shout, hard, shout out to bro. Mesa, bro. Them niggas got some. Bro. Oh, they got nice niggas out there. Wake yeah. up in the hood. That shit hard, nigga. I'll be fucking with that. I'll be running. That shit's back, nigga. Dolly. Dolly. She hard, fired. Bro. Fresco hard. Fresco. Bro, shout just, out Fresco. Just That's listen, real, nigga. Like, listen Huey Hums. Shout out to Huey Hums, bro. Up. Yeah. There's so much talent out here, bro. It's to all you. Insane. Yeah, nigga. To every art, bro. They all go. They all go, motherfucker. Album for sure. And you guys got any uh any shows coming up this year? Yeah. Uh, we got a couple, man. Um, supposed to be doing some, like, Cali. Like LA shows, um, probably like a different line. Probably like a San Diego. I like how different lighters came from. Sorry, that's cool. But uh, yeah, uh, got some shows out here going. You know what I'm saying? Definitely like in the summertime. That's where you're really like. That's where I'm really gonna be doing like most of them too. Any dates? Uh, no officials. Yeah. What about you, Ra? Yeah, I got um, lining some shit up actually right now. Uh, same with the no dates, but expect, expect more live. Future expect shows, shit at the live. more live. Just, yeah, a lot of live, a lot of live shows, a lot of new music. New shit. Um, definitely dropping a project this year myself, so. <laughs> How many projects we dropping this year? Live great. You probably going to get like, you probably like. going to get like two or three, to be honest. Fucking with us. Not Probably gonna get like two or three, for real, for real. Any release dates for those? Nah, not really. I haven't really thought any. I haven't really gave myself a date or like a uh, like a uh, a deadline yet. I really haven't given myself a deadline. Yeah, I don't want to spill anything too soon. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to rush myself. Well, I guess respect it. This is art. Can't be rushed. Mm. What kind of, what is you guys' favorite kind of strain? Uh, blue cheese. I mean, not blue cheese. Uh, blue dream and African cheese. Those are the, like, the same thing. Like, they're up there. So that's why I pick two. Pick two, though. What about for you, Rob? Oh, uh, shit. Um, honestly, bro. OG Chris. You can never go wrong with the OG. Always. You can never go wrong with the OG. Crazy shit, bro. Yo, Skywalker. Skywalker OG is fucking insane. Bro, that shit. That shit's bomb. That shit is bomb. Shit's nice. You guys, uh, have you guys ever done a acid? Yeah, once. Just once? Yeah. yeah. How'd that go? It was cool. Nothing really much happened. It was it more into it. Oh, it was more or uh, nothing? Nah, it was more, uh, it was more like, it was like, like, it was like in the aspect of clarity, you know? That's really what it was. That's what we, like, what no we gained shit, out of this. Like, yeah. Like, chakras and all that type of shit. Like, like niggas see more. Like, oh. Understanding the world. I, okay, okay. Like, I, like, like information yeah. was just flooding the 
Right. It just happens because it is whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we were just really getting the whole, like, we were understanding the human experience, basically. Right. Okay. It was tight. That you was guys, cool more than the trip. Yeah, honestly. No, I've only, I've done it once. When I was in the army, that was in the army. Ha ha. It was funny. Yeah. But it was a good trip. I fucked with it. But I never did it again. I don't know. It's too intense. Yeah, it was too intense. It was too intense, bro. You guys, uh, you guys fuck with dabs? Not really, but I've no. done them before. I've done like, them, like, numerous times. Uh-huh. And, like, I'm just... I'm just not fucking with them. Oh boy, they not fire. They too much, bro. <laughs> Why do I gotta feel like Iron Man? Like, you know what I mean? That shit makes me feel like Iron Man after. My whole got throat gotta burn. My whole chest oh, gotta burn. Man. But I mean, salute if you just out here regularly doing dabs, man. Like, do your thing. You a damn soldier. You know what I'm saying? Commend you. <sighs> so you don't think I should bring bring dabs in future shows? Hey man, you said what? what? I said you don't think I should bring fu- dabs in future shows? I mean, if you can't, I'm pretty sure there's some fans, and, you know what I mean, in the crowd that, that do them. For real, for real. You know? What? Somebody might want to do that. I'm like, I'm not knocking them. They just too much for me. My chest. That's what they You guys, uh, West Phoenix base, right? Mm-hmm. For the community, what would you guys do for the community? Man. If, when given the chance. Open up a skate shop, man, motherfucker. Like on 75th and Indian School, open up a skate shop. Like it's a little indie. Uh, I think it's like a pizza spot or some shit like that. But yeah, open up, open up a skate shop. Cause it's like for us, like to get to a skate shop, you gotta go all the way to fucking Central and Camelback to get that shit. Like that's the closest you got. You could take 80. What is it? 83rd. No, you take Camelback. Yeah, you just basically take Camelback all the way down. You take Camelback all the way down to Central. And that's a fucking drive, nigga. For a fucking That's basically, that's that's Central Phoenix. That's literally Central Phoenix. Basically. Basically, yeah, that's like basically like, downtown, basically. Drive all the way the fuck down there. You gotta, you gotta drive all the way down there just to go get your skateboard. And then, and then your skate park, you know what I'm saying? At Desert West, shit like that. Or if, you know... You live more towards like the Glendale area, like, oh, that one like my house was like a little bit closer to the X Court, which was like on fucking Bethany, you know, like on eighty third. Yeah, eighty third Camelback, like right there. So, show me love. Yeah. Any changes you guys would make for what in the community? Like, what you guys uh, fucking build more. Honestly, yeah, they build homes, like, better homes, like better homes. efficient better homes. These old ass homes they got, they don't do shit to them. And um, also, I, these fucking I, obviously roads, better nigga. Than education. I sound real ignorant because I'm off this, but like, but honestly, our educational system needs a huge upgrade. Huge help. Um, I think we dropped to 30th, bro. It's the Maricopa County doesn't even see any money. Like, we don't see shit. And then the, uh, I can't even think of a fucking good shit. I have to that. But our school district um, doesn't, doesn't see any, any real money either. Like, we're the Plus, we're the poor. We are the poorest county too in Arizona. Right. Like Maricopa County is the poorest county in Arizona, so it's like it's understandable why we don't get a lot of shit. But I do commend them for building that fucking science school. Uh, oh, right down fifty. Yo, it was like, oh, is 50 it fifty? Is it fifty first in Camelback? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah that's tight. Oh, no, fifty. Uh, fifty first in um in McDowell, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right there. By the Seven Eleven. No, by um, you mean the new one on the west side? Uh, they build one over there too. So, word, that's what's up. There's a lot of things I would do, man. I can't think of them all right now, to be honest. But there's so many things that I want to do. I want to buy the fucking Desert West Center. Turn that bitch out. It's so boring in there. 
The coolest thing you Bro. can do there is play ball yeah, and yeah, skate. That's it. That's it. Play ball and skate. That's all you can do. Kids can't really do nothing. There's nothing for them. Why is there a pool table? Who the fuck wants to play pool at the age of 12? Like, come on. Like, old nobody wants to. Come on, man. Shit. Like, these old, outdated ass games. You got to give them, like, other shit to do. Like, that, like, us. Uh, like, if I were to buy that shit and have the dough. Right. When I get the dough, you know, make a fucking room where they can learn how to audio engineer and run a studio and, you know, do all that type of shit. But, like, you know, they don't want to spend money on that. Right. And the right. city don't really see money, so. Oh. What would you change, bro? Oh, for that, uh, us, bro. We gotta change. We gotta change our landscape, bro. This shit is way too spread out. Like, oh yeah, like why the fuck is that? Why does it take five miles just to from your home to, to get to a, a gro- fucking friend or yeah, go to the grocery like, store? Like that shit is insane. that shit is insane. Like we gotta build shit closer, like or just make shit more accessible to people. Like think about it, bro. There's a bunch of old people. You think they want to make that trip? Why are these old ass ladies driving? In long, bro, long ass distances in the hot ass sun with they old ass brain out here swerving on the road. And the way they build up. these neighborhoods, bro, swear. it's like they gentrify and then re gentrify again. It's weird as fuck. They like, just dip and then come back. And then, yeah, and then come back. Like, that shit is insane. Because like, there's wealth out here now. Oh, God, fuck. <laughs> you just gotta invest, stop this, bro. Invest. You gotta invest. Definitely. Gotta invest. Off risk. You gotta invest. We're the fourth biggest city in America. We're the most. We were the most moved in fucking in 2018. Come on, man. Like that's scary, bro. Fuck on. And it'd be the same. And the motherfuckers who see the traffic. Everybody's just living here because nothing happens here. It's just hot as fuck. That's it. That's it. And they're like, okay, that's it. I can deal with the little sun. Exactly. I don't have to deal with no tornadoes or hurricanes. But I'm like, they talk you know? the most shit. But yeah. I'm like, bro, why don't you just leave? Oh, you can't, nigga, and you don't want to because it's cheap as fuck out here. And where you stay, you can't afford it because if you stay there, you're going to be homeless. And you don't want to be homeless. So you know where you're going to go? You're going to go to cheap, sunny Phoenix, Arizona because it's, you know, it's what is cheap. Come on, nigga. Get out of here. Get out of here. But uh, with all the people coming in, people's property value is going up, most definitely. Oh, yeah. Shit's about to get expensive. Yeah. Here, bro. I hate it already. It's going to be crazy. I hate it already, bro. <laughs> it's It sucks. Oh, man. This shit's going to be crazy, though. It sucks. And it's a fucking uh, data showing that uh, we're one of the states with the worst fucking drivers in America. So... Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Salute, everybody. Shit. Niggas ain't gonna fuck everything up. Niggas was driving perfect before y'all came, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> the, the prices was perfect <laughs> before y'all came, nigga. Like, bro, we be like I got yeah, lucky yes, enough. Nigga. I got lucky enough to live in to live in two suburban houses, nigga. I got lucky. I mean, the neighborhoods was like weird as shit, but. Like real weird. I mean, like kidnapping and all type of shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, like just weird shit. But um, but nigga, before before all these motherfuckers came through like a damn tsunami, like a motherfucking tidal wave. Have y'all seen the road tidal wave? The traffic is terrible. Where the fuck did this traffic come? From? Yeah, it's they every they day, all like day this. though. It's, it's every like day, Cali all day. <laughs> It's gonna be like I'm that. So for, annoying. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like that, that until the freeway's finished. Yeah, facts. It's gonna be like that till the freeway's finished. Jesus facts. Christ. Bro. They gonna have to do just like California, make multiple exits and shit. Shit is period. You gotta buy back my shit. Stop this shit like a superhero. I'm weak. <laughs> album mode. Hashtag album mode. Great Fridays, remember that. Get accordingly. Accordingly. Back to myself by Will Be the Great. Yeah,
then next then week next we got week. some raw coming. I want it. Some new shit off the project. So yeah, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Great. You dropped a new project back in August. Yes, sir. Blackfoot Runner. Yes, sir. How was that? How did it that was, go? It was cool, man. Um, the response was was tight. Like it's response for like where I'm at with right. this shit was tight as fuck. So uh, I, I'm very appreciative. For that. The song uh, "Call It." You have him. You have Lord Raw featured on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You don't got no beef for nobody. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> It was just all, all love or what? What's up? It's, I'm gonna just put it like this. Like, you know, it's just like, if you know, like, it's you hip-hop. know, like, you it's know, just, if you know, you know. It happens, like, shit just, shit just happens. Like, niggas gotta put it on wax. Like, that's just what it is. It's just the civil way, to be honest. It's civil. It's hip hop. That's yeah. all. Hip hop can be civil. We showed that. <laughs> we have class, bro. That's basically what it is. No beef. The beef is beef is backwards, bro. Hell uh, yeah. Positivity 2019. Security though. I got nothing but love again. Alright y'all, I think we're gonna end it here. My boy Slater. Alright, my G. Cat, tell them where to find you at, man. Uh, Slater, Slater Black. That's S L A T O R B L A C C. You can find that on all streaming platforms. Social medias is all uh, Slater the God. <clears throat> My bad. Which is G H A U D. That's the God. So Slater the God. That's on Twitter. What about you, Ron? Tell them where to find you. Uh, Find me on anything at old man underscore raw. If you're on Instagram, it's dot raw. Uh, yeah, man, we're gonna be on there. That's Twitter, Instagram, all that. They're great. They're great. Follow them. Hit them up. Listen to the music. Listen to the fucking music. Listen to the please. music. Listen to the culture. Fuck with them. Fuck with my niggas. Peace.